generic greetings and welcome to my museum today's beverages a very nice cup of green tea out also that is exceedingly hot uh, there is some level of regret there and complaints are going to be forwarded to hr either way welcome to my museum specifically the demo version 1.0.6 ar shown on the bottom left there this builds itself as a museum and restoration simulator the idea is that we are given or are put in charge i assume of an old rundown museum and we have to clean it up do it up find items to restore and display and eventually put in little glass cubes for people to come and visit for their viewing pleasure so overall it's a restoration game which is why I'm checking this thing out I like the idea of doing things up and restoring them so I've checked out a few of those games in the past. This is obviously another one of those sort of things. I've not yet tried it, so I have no idea what it is like. And obviously this is the demo version, so things will be limited. But it's enough to hopefully wet our palate for the upcoming game, which is out at some point in the future. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, the demo is available as of the time recording. So check the link out in the description if you want to uh, see what it is like yourself. But that's in done. Let's jump in and we'll see what the game is like. So over to new game and we have what appears to be a couple of characters on the left and right there. Um, okay. So it begins. Find a museum as it says on the top left there and we've got some nice 80s looking cars uh, hanging around in this uh, sort of city area. I'm going to assume that this big glowing building is our museum or my museum and I'm guessing I'm just going to have to click on that and we'll load in. I cannot find the museum. Hmm. I haven't been there for the last 30 years. Okay, a bit of exposition straight away. Grandpa has a museum and we Did are trying to find it. Oh, lady assistant. Good morning, sir. H who are you? Did you kidnap him? Okay, this has turned dark already. Calm down. I work at the Green Sun Nursing Home. I help your grandpa, personally. It's strange that they didn't give her a name. It's just called grandpa lady the assistant. Please. Hmm. Anyway, there's some sort of exposition here to do with ourselves, lady assistant and Hello. grandpa. grandpa. I wonder if they've got a name or is it just Grandpa? Or maybe Grandpa is their name. Oh, good grief. Okay, we're just going to skip all through that. It's it's exposition that we just don't need. We're mainly about the gameplay here. Um, I'm not really too sure. Uh, <laughs> we'd, we don't need any of that uh, backstory there. Basically, yes, we're going to turn up to my museum, which is RIP, do not enter, and good grief. All the bloom in the world and also a fighter jet going overhead. That is very strange. So, Grandpa. Good morning. I am your new assistant. Uh-huh. In Darknet. I identify myself as Lady Assistant. Oh, fair enough. That, will, that cuts the corners off uh, having to name characters then, doesn't it? And then I'll be I'll be called Mr. Grandson, right? Well, they're keeping it simple, right? Let's just skip through all of this. It's going to be something to do with Grandpa and the Assistant. Yeah, but basically, the long shot of it is we are here and we have to do whatever the game tells us to do. Like, say, if it was a full version... Oh, good grief. Skip, skip, skip. Yes, if this was a full game, I would happily go through that. But for a demo, I just want to see what the actual gameplay is like. So, clean up the museum, find the trash bags. Well, I can see that they're there because of the arcing and sparking. But first things first, this is a very nice looking game. I'm noticing all of these uh, cabinets here. They are, although broken, still very nicely textured and such. We've also got some paintings here. Yeah, I mean, that's really small, but also when you go in, look at that, look how detailed that is. It's really small, but you can go in and check it out, and also we've got nice canvas uh, texturing there as well. That's pretty nice. I wonder if that and these, uh, I have no idea. That seems to be, it was once in, it's currently in portrait, but I wonder if it was in landscape mode and they've just shrunk it down, which is why it looks so disproportionate. I wonder if these are real-life paintings as well. I have, uh, I have no idea. There's another one. What have we got? Uh, okay, a pig. Uh, another sheep, and don't know what that is over there. Anyway, let's just pick up the trash bags, because that's what it's wanting us to do. And clean up the debris and rubbish, put the debris in bags. So apparently we have to clean that up, and oh, there we go, we get a bag, fair enough. What should I do with the bag? Oh, how rude. I heard there are vacancies. Let's just skip all of this nonsense. Find the hammer to demolish the wall. Okay, uh, oh, hammer. We have a hammer here. So it wants us to... You'll have to demolish the wall between the museum and the workshop. Well, we've already got access to it, so let's just, let's just break this. Oh, look at that. And we get... Oh, wow. That's, um... <laughs> that's a lot of things to calculate. Okay, that's a lot of brick and a lot of uh, plaster and such. I wonder if we just turn around and look back. Will it disappear? No, it doesn't instantaneously disappear. Um, it will eventually, though. Let's just take down this wall because that's, I think, what it's asking us to do. So one, two, and then three. It's actually pushing us back all of the debris. And, well, of course it would. Uh, two, and then three. There's all that gone. And... Right, why have we not... 
can we swing it at these? Well, we can, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, that would also probably take down half the building. I have... Oh, is is it this bit here? Is this is the one, is this one we have to break through to? Yes, okay. So this one actually has some sound. And congrats, you found the workshop. Okay, so we've got some sort of power distribution system. We've got a, a very nice looking... Uh, very nice looking workbench here. Vice on the side. One there as well. We got some like a multi tool. Some people will call it a, a Dremel, but obviously other manufacturers are available. That looks to be an airbrush, and then some nuts and bolts. Uh, nuts and bolts. A nuts and bolts spirit level uh, computer. Anyway, um, it says throw the bags in rubbish. So I'm guessing pick up this bag, drop the hammer, and it, it said they were outside. And oh, here we go. So we are currently outside in this. I was wondering what that hissing sound was. It apparently it's that air conditioner, which I think, I mean, I'm no, I'm no expert, but I think it may be in need of a service. Anyway, we'll put this in here, and that doesn't work well. This You're one. Oh, it this. goes in there. Yeah. Okay. So remove all showcases. So all of these, is it? Yeah. Anything that glows, we have to remove. Now, I would probably, I would probably repair those and put them back into service. But then again, you know, uh, I'm not. I was about to say, I'm not in charge of a museum, but in this setting, that's exactly what I'm in charge of. Uh, can you pick up more than one bag at once? One, uh, two, no, you can't. So we're just going to have to do multiple trips here to to the wheelie bin. Um, I notice we're not, uh, we're not recycling this. It's all just going in one lot. So there you are. That says bank. Okay, which, oh, that's a lot of metal to put in to one trash bag. There we go. So yeah, we're clearing this up. Um, I'm noticing we've still got a couple of things left. So obviously the the back office here we're not bothering with. We're not uh, altering that at this stage. But we've got like uh, like the the, the st stand in the middle, that cabinet over there. Yeah, I'm guessing in the full version you'll be allowed to edit this how you want. Again, this is an assumption, um, but it makes to me logical sense that you would be able to do up your own museum how you see fit and display things uh, where you want them so you can curate it uh, put them in different areas maybe even segregate them into different like types so like different eras or settings periods uh, different types of things so you could have like jewelry in one part and antique uh, model cars or something in another old telephones whatever they uh, happen to be added to the game Let's just bring all of this and dump them in there. That's good. So, I mean, this is the the basics of uh, opening this thing. I'm, I'm wondering if we actually get to restore any anything first. Looking at the tools there and some of the screenshots, I think we'll be restoring some sort of helmet. But I've not actually uh, tried that here yet, so we'll see. Only a couple more bags to shift, as far as I can tell. And then we'll get on to the next part of the game hopefully i'm noticing none of that there that I've, I've obviously removed a big section of the wall it's not telling us to do anything there but hey ho uh okay good the first exhibition on time are increasing good can i have my beer now young fellow duty before pleasure what should i do now Roll up your sleeves for renovation. Join the exhibits. Okay, so we're going to do some renovation. And by the way, I was I was trying to keep quiet while they natter away. But by the way, they do really like a, a big uh, talk. My main takeaway was, where's that dog go to? I mean, obviously sealed off with a totally impenetrable bit of red velvet rope there. But that, that door is, is there, right? Uh, how many? I mean, I, I can't do paces in the game, but I mean, let's count from say this line: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's about here. That door <laughs> leads to nowhere. Oh, literally unplayable. Right, okay, go to the workbench, and we have a, a Brewster body shield. So, this is all split into different parts. So we've got the helmet, the body, for some reason louder music, uh, two eye shields, and two pins. And the action we have is to repair the helmet and the body. So we're going to repair, uh, we'll go for maybe the body first, because it looks to be, uh, it looks to be a little bit simpler. So we'll say fix on that one, and, oh, okay. 
So we get uh, this body of the shield. We can all right click and spin it around again. Very nice texturing there. I uh, quite like that. And we can zoom in and out. And it's telling us to pick up the multi tool, which has got a sanding disc or a flapper wheel on the end of it. And hang on, are we really going to go to town on an antique shield with a tool like this? Surely this is the exact opposite of what you would be told to do in a museum setting. Surely. Yes, you would stop it deteriorating, but you wouldn't. Re oh, you wouldn't remove this. This is. Oh, okay, right. This. Um, okay. First things first. It's very nice to do. Uh, the action is pretty good. You can see we've got a lot of detail in what we can remove there. But this seems to be the opposite of what you would want to achieve. And I'm assuming there's uh, museum creators currently having a, a triple heart attack. Uh, watching us do this um, and that's an airbrush there. I wonder if we're cleaning the rust off and then it's going to um, Tell us to spray paint it. So in reality, there's not much. There's not <laughs> yes It might if it might technically be old like the manufacturer might be old, but it's not gonna look old, is it? It's gonna look absolutely brand new so yeah a curious a curious way of doing things. I know, you know, if we're restoring things, then yes, fair enough. Um, it'll be up to the owner how they would like to restore them. Um, and obviously, if you look at like YouTube and stuff, there's a lot of like restoring channels and things like that. They try to fix certain things, and they do it in their own way. But um, I can't imagine a, a museum going to town like this one. So yeah, I know for some reason when you go off there, can you see it like it? Uh, uh, the, the wheel just sort of like catches and just scrapes along here, so when you go off it just yeah, it just sort of defaults over there. Um It is what it is. I'm just follow I'm just using um you can see there's like a white dot, that's my, my 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 mouse cursor, and I'm just doing that. If you quickly skim over it like that, you can see you don't get it all clean, so you do have to hold it and go through it at a steady pace. It is satisfying, I'll give it that. It is very satisfying to to do this. Um I'm also yeah, I want to just clean off the bottom bits here and just work around. And that should be it done. It says 95 per oh. It says 95% progress. Oh wow. Okay, so you can actually clean the edges as well. I'm going to assume though, as soon as we get to 100 percent it's gonna say, yep, yeah, you're done, no problem. You can uh, move on to the next thing. Um let's just Oh! Actually, no, it doesn't. Mmm. Oh. Okay, it sort of does. It said yes, progress is hundred percent. But it's still dirty, so I thought it would automatically complete. So it would just say, "Yep, you've um, you've got that completed now," but it doesn't. So if we wanted to get this done properly, we'd have to work on all of these surfaces. Now, that's interesting because if we open this up, like if we open um, the museum, I wonder if this would be shown. So in a lot of games, you get with this percentage that the game requires, and then it automatically completes the rest of it. It doesn't seem to do that, so I wonder if that will be reflected on the final product. I will try and find out with the helmet, I think. Anyway, so this is our airbrush, and are we just gonna? Oh yeah, we are literally just spraying it in a in a sort of gold uh, goldish color, in like a silverish color or a grayish color. So we've taken all the rust off it, and now we're just. We're just airbrushing it. So I'm just going to go around the outside, sort of cut in there, and then I'll fill in the center. It's a bit annoying when you move off the edge of it, because not only does the airbrush just in the in the tool in general, the other tools in general just sort of fly in a random direction, but also, you can see the depth of field, um, it, it actually, it sort of, it, uh, yeah, it changes based on where you're looking at, and when you move off there, it just makes it more blurry, because we're not focusing on that. But it is what it is. It's not a, not a big drama. So let's just finish this side of the shield off. I'm going to assume that I'd also have to do the sides. There's that spray there. A couple little bits that I've missed and just yep, go back to there and oh, looks like we managed to get spread through <laughs> to uh, to one side. So we'll just spray all the way around and over to there and then we'll do the rest of this. So what are we on? 75%. And then we've got the helmet to do after this. I'm just going to rotate it so we can, yeah, get nice coverage on the on the left hand side. I like the detail in the airbrush. I mean, it's currently not attached to anything, so I don't know where the the airflow is coming from. And we do have to spray paint this as well. Okay, well, it actually just moved over there. I, I didn't have the option to to continue any further. So here is the helmet. 
Okay. Strange shape head, but there you are. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And you've got like the mouthpiece and like the head. So what I'll do is I'll work on the I'll work on the head first. In terms of surface area, there's a lot less to work on on the helmet. And notice as well, as we're scraping there, it's not um, cleaning it, it's not cleaning this. So it's working underneath on that little rim there, on that little lip, but it isn't cleaning this part. Same as if I go at the edge, it's not wrapping round, so it does have the separate sides and vertices to do. You can see there's also inside the mouth, technically, to do. The helmet's now, for some reason, ended up upside down. There's that clean. Work on the back here. This doesn't take too long. Let's just take all the aging patina off this. <laughs> Could have literally come from a pound shop. Um, right, so we'll just do the bottom and the underside. There you go. Then on there as well. That's done. And then we have to do underneath. So again, we're just going to do underneath. And look at the texturing on that. It's very nice. Nice reflections as well. Unreal Engine, I believe for those interested. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to purposefully not get it uh, fully done. As soon as it says 100%, I am moving on. There you go. So I'm going to get the airbrush. And can we airbrush over this? Or you can, right? So you can airbrush straight over that, so you can't really tell. It's very difficult to tell inside here what we've what we've airbrushed and what we haven't. Okay. Well, we'll just get the inside painted first because we've been working here anyway. So, just give a light coating. As I said in the past, we played a couple of restoring games and there's some good ones and there's some overly simplistic ones that, you know, I can understand the desire for both at certain times, but... This is probably a bit more on my preferred level. Requires some... You can't just do this and call it done. It's not just holding down one button to get it completed. But there is like a... Yeah. So you just have to focus on where you're going to spray this thing. You see we've gone on the back there somehow as well. What are we on? We're on... 80%. So I'm going to purposefully leave, like, say, well, actually, we won't get a choice. As soon as it's sprayed to a certain percentage, well, 100%, it'll say, yep, you're done, and it'll take it off it. So let's see on the back. So 99. So that's done. So we can't actually do anything with it. The rest are okay, even though they look rusty. So we'll say assemble. We'll get our shield. Right, and then we need the helmet, which will go on top like so, and let me see. Yep, it looks like it does automatically complete it. So, if you forget a little bit, it will finish the job off for you. One could argue both ways for that. Um, I like the idea of if you haven't done it, you'll be able to go back and see the bits you've missed. <laughs> so it means it means you know doing a thorough job is. Uh, is very much rewarding. But then, you know, if people are not bothered, then they're not bothered. And I think that's it. Is that us done? Excellent. Yes, excellent. Grandpa, your turn. Get to work at the workbench. Hmm. Very fun. Give me a nice tea. So, we have... For some reason, the mouse has changed its <laughs> sensitivity. Okay, that's curious. Right, we have got that item now done. Uh, where is it? It is... Ah, oh, well, there's a part of it there. I don't know where the rest is. Oh, it's underneath. That's good. Um, we can also... Oh, I was going to say turn the computer on, but, um, yeah, we haven't got, as far as I can see, an actual computer. It's just there. <laughs> just the monitor. Um, is that a Panzerfaust? <laughs> or a Panzer Shrek? I don't know which, which is which. I always forget the... I always, um get those confused. Anyway, workbench, we have... It is a Panzerfaust! Okay! Um, pipe, warhead, sticker, and thing. 
Good. I'm glad we've been very specific with what these what these items are. Um, I'm 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 really hoping that this has been demilled. It's it's not a yeah. It, it can't be active. It's it's obviously just a <laughs> yeah. It's obviously just for sure. Good grief. We hope because then this would t this game would get very dark very quickly. Um, and is that it? Is that literally all we have to do? Yeah, it's done. Okay, so we've managed to do the Panzerfaust. Um, we've got a helmet and a Vickers. We're gonna do the helmet. Um, it says damage. Are we just gonna have to? Yeah, we are gonna have to. Sp we are gonna have to uh, get our our uh, tool on this and start grinding away. Okay, so we'll do the sort of back bit there first, and then up and round. And is that one in need of cleaning? It is. It actually comes up quite nice, that. That does come up quite nice. A little bit I've missed out there, so I'll just work my way back and come back through. Because it's a curved surface, it's actually a lot more difficult to sort of clean this than the other one. So maybe if I just put it on its side there. Ah, you notice there's a seam there. See that? There's a seam. <laughs> right, just clean all that around there. There's little bits that don't seem to have don't seem to have got like it fully clean, but I think it's just the the look of it. I don't know. We'll come back to it if need be. Saving the spike to last. Is that a? I thought that was a bullet hole in it then. That's coming up quite nice, isn't it? There we go. And then this. And yeah, I wonder what people's opinions are on cleaning up like this. One could argue that if it's... In a, isn't in a fit state, then restoring it is a good thing. Others may say that you're removing all history and age and whatnot to it. I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? It's like when they drag tanks out of a swamp and it's just a wreck and they, and they do it. You could argue, no, no, you should keep it where how it was and history and etc. And others will say, well, can we just have a working tank, please? Uh, <laughs> right, let's um, get on with spraying. It seems to be... Is this the same colour or is it slightly darker? It appears to be slightly darker. Oh, yeah, that's, that's darker. Right. Just finish this bit up here. You can see it's in. We've got like a seam that goes around there. So if I just go like there, yeah, you can see there's a seam. And there's one there as well. See? So I just spray to the left hand side of the seam. <laughs> we just get a perfect line all the way down. Okay, fair enough. Get that done. Spray a bit there. Oh, look at that! It's uh, putting a nice red colour on the side of that. Just work our way around. And the front here as well. The problem being that getting in between all of this sort of filigree bit at the front is quite difficult. Seem to have managed it there. Yeah, see if we've managed it. Right, just around the edge now. For some reason, it keeps ending up upside down. There and there. There we are. That's easier. Uh, and here. Yeah, that's good. And then there. We're almost done. 91% according to the game. Just need to spray this with gold. Oh, and there we go. Assemble. Uh, one helmet. Oh, look, there's still a bit on the back there that I didn't spray. But it looks like it's done. Alright, I uh, wonder where that helmet is now then. It's down there. So it is actually, they're just dumping it down there. So that's been restored, that's been restored. There's loads of paintings here as well, I noticed, that are just dumped in the corner there. We now have a Vickers machine gun. Just, just to assemble. 
looks to be. So we need the, uh, it's part of the tripod. We'll try to zoom out to actually get the right part. So we'll get this and put it on the back there. Yep, that's fine. Can hardly see what we're doing here. <laughs> um, and then we'll just screw that on. Oh, is that it? Oh, I thought we'd have to clean up the water jacket or something like that and repaint it or whatever, but no. Um, I mean, I assume... Oh, no. Uh, set up a showcase. Right. Oh, so this is where we can set up some of our stuff. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. So we can set up, like, stuff where we want it. So we can make nice little showcase pieces. Um, snapping would be nice. I would like a, a way to snap these like these things together. Um, see, I would probably say pick those up and put them back to back. But, whoa, I don't know what's, what's happened there. Okay, so that goes on there. This one goes next to that one. There's also LEDs in it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's LEDs in it. Uh, we'll just place that in there. You get an LED strip at the back. And then we've got a couple more. See, so we'll just place this back to back. It, for some reason, goes a bit weird if you get too close. So we'll just place it there. And what's this? Oh, it looks like it'll be a seat of some kind. That can go there. That can go in there. And then this one can go in uh, there. That should do it. And then I assume we can put the stuff in here. Uh, oh, no. It's been, it's been put in there. Yeah. I've got yep. and that's it. So I don't remember anything else. I have a computer to remember uh -oh. that stuff. Uh, for me. Uh, hang on, hang on. Right. Uh, so we've got looks to be I think knives in there. Is that a gas mask or something? Some sort of canister. Ammo and helmets. Well, ammo boxes and helmets. Uh, appears to be World War Two German stick grenades plus bloom. Uh, this is more of those. Oh, there's the things we've restored. Yeah, nice welcoming thing when you come in the door, isn't it? Yes, okay. Uh, and then more of that. Right, what about in here? Oh, a little toy car and such. So it says about the computer. Um, grandpa. Uh, password. Uh, password. I can't get in. The computer asks for the password. Oh, we're going to have to listen to this now to see if he's got a password. Password, I... Remember, I have a computer to. Hmm. To remember that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the password consists of four letters. Easy. Four numbers, or four special characters. I don't know where to start searching for a password. It'll be written somewhere. Hmm. During the first renovation. Grandpa was very careful not to damage the vertical roof supporting beams in the main hall. Oh, there's numbers on them. So, one, two, three, four. Zero, 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 zero. One, 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 one. Right, we've, we've exhausted 90% of uh, the default passwords. We have... Ow! <laughs> um... We got L. What are L A L E? L A L E, no. What do you mean? Those are letters. Letters that have any specific meaning? I don't know. I've nope. got a computer to remember that stuff for me. Do these letters need a name? Don't, don't bother me anymore. I need to drink a cold beer. Uh huh. Thanks. Thanks for the help. I guess. Uh, what are A L L E? How about Ella? Yep. There you go. So this is the Cubixon OS. Um, very small icons. Where? Ah, it's like a safe in the back. Yes. And what? Oh, and a camera. So there's a camera in there. And. Checking documents. No. Right. Let's just let's just exit the computer. Um, although I can't, I can't actually exit. Um, okay. This is this is difficult. Close, close. Right. So apparently in here. Yeah, we've got a camera, have we? Yes. Can we put it together? We'll see. 
Yeah, we can. The uh, Argus C3 camera, and this is just assembling. Oh, look how detailed all these are. So, we'll say, zoom in a little bit. Loads of parts. So we've got the front section, which will just go on the front. It's like a nice uh, sort of leatherette type front. We've got some sort of adjuster. So we're just putting this back together. We're not having to... Um, there's a... Got on the bottom for it. Yeah, we're not having to restore it. We're just putting it back together. So fair enough, fair enough. Goes on the top. Don't know what that is. I've seen that in the intro. There's the lens. Um, another front strip. Spin it round. I don't know what that is. Something to do with the film. Yeah, a little bit for the film. We've got loads of nuts and bolts, but we've got a camera back first. I love the texture in the uh, the detailing of the texture, and then there's the the back there, just slides on, and then a myriad of nuts and bolts. So, where would those go? There. Well, there's one. Uh, that one. Oh, look, oh, you, have put, oh, you have put all these little bits in. Wow. That one. So it's much easier to mouse over and see where they are in green, like that, than clicking on it <laughs> like I did with one of the parts and then trying to figure out where it goes because, yeah, you can be hunting forever. And... Is that it? I think that's Wait. it. We will sell the camera. We can open the first exhibition. So we can sell the camera and yeah, open first ex exhibition on time. Oh, uh, on oh, time! There God. it is. There. <laughs> it's for luck. That's okay. Well, I was carrying there's our museum. From the store and I fell over. So we've restored one. some sort of like helmet and shield. Put together a couple of weapons, which is very strange to say, and found a camera hidden in a lockbox outside. And there it is. So, 1943, a popular rangefinder camera, the so called brick in the. Yeah, is it 19. 19 I can't read it because it keeps scrolling. Um, yeah, it, it's telling us about the camera. That's good. I like the way it tells us a little bit of history about the camera and such. Famous American photographer. So, Cool. We would have liked to read that out and know a bit more, but uh, yeah, it uh, disappears. And this is going to tell me more about the armor, is it? That looks very, very shiny now. But it also looks somewhat evil. 1918. Experimental American armor from World War One, designed by Otis Brewster. Fair enough. And then we'll check the other one. That's a, a pointy helmet. German helmet from 1900. Hmm. There you go. Congratulations, you've completed the demo. Uh, you saved the museum. Next week's stage of the museum gameplay, you can expect the following. Museum management, more features related to the museum renovation, create, uh, creating exhibits and exhibitions, organising auctions of the exhibits, developing your business and acquiring new buildings. So there you go. That is a bit of my museum. So, okay, thoughts? Uh, first impressions and thoughts. It's a beautiful looking game and very detailed. The cleaning and putting together part of it is, again, a bit simple. Um, I do like the detail in the cleaning. That's very nice. Um, and the fact that you can miss bits as well, that's pretty cool as well. But, you know, it's... Yeah, it's very much very much just sort of by the numbers. But it is what it is, and it's chill. And maybe the management side will amp it up a little bit. And I do like it was giving you a bit of history there. Overall, for a demo, it's uh, got my attention enough to keep an eye on the game and see when it comes out and maybe jump back in there. I would like to know your thoughts as well. Like I said, this is the first time I've played it, so yeah, who knows? We can obviously expect some issues that we, well, we did see some ones where the cabinets were going at different angles and such, and yeah, maybe torn down the bloom by about 300%. Because, um, yes, retinas were definitely burned. But overall, it is what it is, and seems to be a quite interesting demo, as I said, available at the time of recording, so if you want to check the link out in the description, I'll put a link there so you can uh, jump in and try it for yourself. Interested to see what the full game holds, and as always, we'll go from there. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.